Hey everyone, today's video is about when they make you cry. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Izuku Midoriya. You walked into Izuku's room to see him training. Hey Izuku, do you want to watch TV with me or go out? He asked, but he didn't respond. Izuku? No answer again. Izuku, please answer me. He didn't respond again, so he shook him. He groaned and pushed you off of him. What's wrong? You asked. You are what's wrong, he shouted, backing you against the wall. You're always interrupting me while I'm training. I'm sick of it. I need to train. You started crying loudly, and he gasped. Fine, then. If you want me to leave you alone, I will, you said grabbing your stuff and going to leave. He grabbed your hand. Why I don't? He started, but you yanked your hand away. You wiped your face, trying to stop crying. No, continue training, Izuku. Train hard, you said, running out of his house, leaving him with a look of regret on his face. No. He fell to his knees. Shoto Tsuruki. Something had happened to the rookie the night before, so he had woken up in a bad mood, but he left him alone. After a few hours, we tried talking to him. Todoruki? You asked, but he didn't answer. Todoruki? What? He said, but looking at you. What's wrong? You haven't talked to me for hours, he said. It's nothing. Just leave me alone, he said, getting up to leave. Todoroki, please tell me what's wrong, he shouted. I said leave me alone, he said. He ran over and put your hand on his shoulder. He turned around and stabbed your cheek, making you fall to the floor. But he accidentally used his fireside, leaving a burn mark. I said leave me alone, he shouted, yanking you a bare collar. You started sobbing and he gasped, realizing what he's done. You pushed him off of you and started putting your things into a bag. Why, I'm, I'm so... No, you're right. You looked back at him with a smile, tears uncontrollably running down your face. I should have left you alone, and now I will. You took your chance to run out of the house before you broke down. Baku Katsuki. You were talking to a few boys after school, and you thought there was no problem with it. Until Bakugo saw you. He growled and picked you up, taking you to his place. He threw you down on the couch. What were you doing? He asked. Talking? You answered, kind of confused. Why with boys? He shouted, and you frowned. They started the conversation, and I didn't want to be rude. He said. Well, you need to stop being so jealous all the time. You hugged him. What? How am I not going to be jealous? He shouted, pushing you off of him. And onto the floor. I just want to make sure that my girlfriend isn't doing anything with other men. Well, if you would trust me, then you would know that I wouldn't. You said, grabbing your back. I'm leaving. Fine, leave you slut. He shouted, and you started to cry. Fine, I will. You shouted back as you started to walk out. I hate you. He shouted, but gasped after. You turned around to look at him, crying even more. Why aren't I? He tried to take your hand, but you yanked your hand away. I, I can say I hate you back, because I don't. But if that's how you feel, then fine. You said as you ran outside. Why and wait? He shouted, but he didn't stop. Dinky Kaminari. You have been woken up by Dinky, and you found. What? You lying. Why are you so damn tired all the time? He asked. I stay up late. What do you expect? He asked, standing up and searching. I want to hang out with you more, but I can't if you're always sleeping. He said. What do you mean? You asked. 
exactly what I said, damn it. He said, shoving you against the wall. You screamed loudly as you felt a sharp pain in your arm and heard cracking. I don't think this will work out. We started crying as you kicked up and ran towards the door. I still love you, but, but if it won't work out, I'll have to move on. You said, running out of the house, fearing of another broken limb. What did I just do? He mumbled, falling to his knees. Taneida. He noticed that Ida wasn't being as friendly one day, so he went to try to talk to her. Ida, are you okay? He asked. Brian, I'm reading right now. What do you want? He asked, and you were surprised how he talked. I, I want to see if you're okay. You seem a bit mean, he said. I'm fine. Now let me read, he said. But, but, he stabbed you. Don't talk back to me, he shouted, and he started to cry, making Ida's eyes widen. Before he could say anything, he ran off. Hitoshi Shinso. You had just gotten inside the house from training. You saw Shinso listening to music. So he didn't hear you come in. You hugged him from behind and he pushed you off of him. What the hell? He asked, glaring at you. He had never looked at you like that before. What's wrong, Shinso? You asked. Don't scare me like that. He said. Why are you being so mean all of a sudden? You asked again. He stood up and backed you against the wall, his hands squeezing your neck tightly, making you shock as you struggled to get air into your lungs. I am being mean. You're the one who... He gasped when he saw you crying. Shinso. You shocked out. Please stop. He let go and stared at his hands and you coughed. You took your chance to run out of the house. Hantasero. You were just waking up when the door opened, revealing Sarah, looking mad. Do you need something? He asked. So you're cheating, huh? He asked. What? No. Where did you get that from? Oh, really? Then what is this? He asked, turning his phone to see you and another boy kissing. Uh, Sarah, that's a drawing that my friend made in fifth grade. I... It doesn't fucking look like it was in fucking fifth grade. He yelled, making you shiver and start to cry. Now you're crying. You cried even more as you grabbed your jacket, putting it on. You grabbed something off of the nightstand and threw it at him before running out. Keep it. I don't want them. He heard you shout. He was shocked at what he saw. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!